Today I'm going to teach you how to use the Vim text editor in Ubuntu. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing you want to do is go to the place where you'd like to save all your stuff. I'm just going to save everything in uh, the documents directory. I'm going to call my file. Uh, you're going to have to go Vim. That way it knows it's making it in Vim. And you're going to have to go to the name. It's going to call it new dot and then you can do whatever file extension you want to use. I'm going to go CPP because I'm going to make a C++ file. Uh, see, as you can see we're here. Uh, when you start out in Vim, you start out in command mode. Uh, so you cannot insert any text right now. So if you press anything, it just gives you a bunch of crap. Uh, you have to press I to go into insert mode. It'll save you across the bottom. It'll allow you to type. And if you want to go back to command mode, you press escape. Uh, now let's say, uh, now that you're in command mode, you can press the colon, you can press Q, uh, that will quit out, but it'll ask you for the exclamation point because it knows you didn't save, it doesn't want you to like quit out, so when in command unit you have to do a right exclamation point to quit out, uh, WQ will right quit so it saves it and then quits out. Uh, another useful command down there is set number. See, it adds number lines to uh, you know your code or whatever you're doing. Very helpful. So now, if you go like into insert mode, and you you got number lines, and you press enter. You know it adds the numbers. Can you get set no? Number will get rid of them. So now let's say like while in command mode, let's say like oh I didn't want to type that. You can press DW. And it'll delete the whole word, or whatever it thinks the word is. So I'm gonna add some paste. See, this should be this is hello world in C++. So let's say I didn't like hello. Uh, I'd go DW while in command mode. You press escape to get back to the command mode once in insert. So go DW. It just deletes that whole word. Uh, you can press U to undo the previous thing you've done. Uh, another thing while in command mode, let's say I don't like that O, you press X and it'll delete it. U, put it back. Uh, there's actually tons of stuff you can do. Uh, I don't know them all. You can also navigate through with the H, move your cursor left, L for right, K for up, K for down. Uh, I'd much rather use the arrow keys, I'm not sure why they have that. But those are the basic commands of. Uh, Vim, so I'm hoping this will help. So and then you can just type it in again to reopen it. And there it is. So I hope this tutorial is going to help, and uh, thank you for watching.